This is the Play Your Position podcast, where we huddle up, call the plays, and inspire you to run your ball into the end zone. Are you ready to score more game-winning touchdowns in your life, business, and career? Then listen up, because it's game time, baby. Now, here's your host, Mary Lou Kayser. The late American philosopher Jim Rohn was famous for saying the following, He loved to say that a formal education will make you a living, but a self-education will make you a fortune. I just finished up a two-month self-education workshop. It was phenomenal on so many levels. It was hosted on the Akimbo platform, which if you're familiar with Seth Godin, you know he has a podcast called Akimbo. And he is building what I see as the future of how we learn. I was curious about what he was doing. And that was one of the main drivers of why I signed up for that workshop. And I'll tell you, I was blown away, not so much by the content, although the content was excellent. What really caught my attention and has had a lasting effect on me is the people that I met inside this workshop. I met people from all over the world, places like the United Kingdom, South Africa, the Netherlands, Sweden, other parts of the United States, and the list goes on and on. If I did not have the mindset around self-education, finding opportunities that will advance my knowledge, my expertise, and inform my thought leadership, I never would have met these people, and I wouldn't have received the amazing instruction that Seth and his team provided. We are coming up to the end of what has been a year unlike any other. I don't want to waste time going down that rabbit hole. We can all agree 2020 was nothing like anybody thought, and yet earlier today, I was reviewing the year with a good friend of mine. And we took turns listing out our successes starting in January and going all the way through here we are in December. When she got done listing out all the amazing accomplishments of her year, she sat back and she said, wow, when I say them all out loud like that, I really have to say 2020 wasn't so bad. And then it was my turn and I did the exact same thing. And despite losing all my paying clients when lockdown hit on March 15th, despite not having a clue about where I was going to get my next clients from, when I review 2020, I see a lot of successes, including my decision at the very last minute to join the Akimbo workshop that Seth Godin has created. And Self-education has been on my mind lately because, A, it's a huge part of my mission in life. If you've been listening to me for any length of time, you know that I am a proponent of lifelong learning. You know that part of my mission here at the Play Your Position podcast is to advance human experience through conversations about the call to leadership, about what we do in the face of adversity and failure, about celebrating the wins, both big and small, and ultimately about the relationships that we make because we choose to show up. It's hard for me to understand someone who doesn't have a mindset around self-education. In other words, someone who believes that they were done learning when they graduated from high school or even college. The truth of the matter is life is a series of lessons and it's up to us to decide if we're going to learn from them. So today, I want you to think about what did you do today? What happened today? What were you intentionally seeking and where were you on autopilot And perhaps some things happened to you because you weren't paying attention. I've had days like those. They happen fairly regularly. I think it's really, really, really hard 
to be intentional 100% of the time. It's worth striving for. It's definitely something that the, the saints of the world, the Dalai Lama advocate, you know, the religious texts from ancient times all the way up to now have passages that allude to the fact that perhaps it is possible, but we are human and we are fallible and things are not always going to go according to plan, no matter how intentional we are. That being said, becoming more intentional, becoming more self-aware is going to give you a better overall experience in life because you're not letting life happen to you. You are showing up for life and as best you can, directing the way you move forward. We can't know what's going to happen when we say yes to an opportunity, like what happened to me this fall when I said yes to Seth Godin's Akimbo workshop. I went in wanting something and I got what I wanted, plus a whole lot more. And to circle back to the quote I opened today's episode with, the one from Jim Rohn about formal education versus self-education, when he talks about a fortune, money is certainly involved. However, a fortune involves so much more than just a pile of cash. A fortune can be measured by the quality of our relationships, the places we get to see, the experiences that we have because we decided having those experiences were important to us. And so when you hear that word fortune, as we round out, again, a wild and crazy and completely unexpected year, think about for the new year in 2021, how do you want to build your fortune? What self-education opportunities could you explore? Could you invest in? Are you willing to put some time and effort into a program? Are you willing to seek out the people who can help you move from where you are in your life to where you want to go next? These are important questions. I ask myself these questions on a regular basis because if I don't, it's easy to slip into autopilot and get comfortable with what's going on instead of challenging myself to look at things a little bit differently, to put myself into a situation where I'm not in control and I don't know what's going to happen. And being aware and intentional while I'm experiencing whatever situation I have chosen to take part in. With the number of opportunities for self-education that are seriously a mouse click away, a quick Google search away, what's stopping you from looking into something that could change your life, as cliche as that sounds? The workshop I just got through doing, it really changed my life because it opened up my connections to people on this planet who have questions about what it means to be human and how we can do that better. I invite you to get curious about what could be next for you and do a little digging. Get out your laptop, open up your phone, do a search about something that you truly are curious about learning more about and see what happens. Ask people in your circle if they know of something that could lead you closer to satisfying your curiosity. Self-education is phenomenal because it's always there for us whenever we want it. I'm planning to take the last two weeks of the year off to celebrate the holidays, do some more reflecting about 2020 and also some forecasting about 2021. I've got some exciting programs I will be launching and I'll be sure to let you know about those. Also, I have a large project that has been on my back burner for, I'd say, at least a couple of years. And 2021 is the year 
I am going to see it to its fruition. And again, I will let you know more about that in a future episode. In the meantime, team, you know what to do. It is always a great day to get out there and play your position. This is Mary Lou Kayser. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Got a great key offensive strategy you like to share? Write to us at coach at PYPpodcast.com or on Twitter, use hashtag PYP and let us know how you're running your ball into the end zone for those game-winning touchdowns.